Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the uh, Scrambler modding uh, updates and build. Um, I want to first apologize, or rather I should apologize for YouTube. I did an installation video on this part I just installed, and as usual, um, I'm a dunce cap, or YouTube is stupid, and it didn't work. It uploaded my last video twice. So, um, I'm going to have to walk you through it like I do everything, <laughs> everything else. That's what I get for trying. So, um, I don't know how many of you have actually uh, raced or have ridden for long uh, hours throughout the day. And eventually what happens is, is uh, you get uh, thumb fatigue. Hurts to go like that after a while. Um, this mod is good for people who have MS, anybody who was hurt in a war, um, anybody who has uh, poor grip, uh, has uh, maybe some... Uh, uh, spinal or brain issues where you, you can't use your thumb that well. Um, and, and the only reason I even say any of that stuff, and it's usually not on many people's minds, is um, I spent some time in Walter Reed, right? So, uh, you know, you see soldiers and sailors and, uh, you know, Marines and, and uh, airmen walking around that are, that are uh, don't have full use of their hands and stuff. And this thing is really awesome if uh, they ever wanted to get... Um, on a bike and they don't have the use of their thumb. Um, anyway, so back to the racing aspect. I have had it where I've gotten to the third or fourth lap in a race. Who am I kidding? I never get to the fourth lap. I'm usually in last place. And uh, I can't use my, uh, I can't use the old thumb. And it really does slow you down. So um, I saw this on another guy's bike. I can't take credit for the originality. Um, a guy named uh, uh, Christopher Riggin who races in 4x4B. Uh, for GNCC, and he bought it off a guy who um, was having some health problems, and he had this installed, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, you know? So, um, in my previous video that was deleted, I did the whole installation. It is the easiest installation you could possibly do. It takes, of all, it takes all of about five minutes. You pop this cover off, you put the DX trigger on, put the cover back off. Um, I have no complaints about the installation whatsoever. My only criticism, if anyone's out there watching, is um, I don't know how watertight this is. I, I probably would have put a, a little gasket here if I had the material in a garage. Um, I didn't want to put RTV on here because RTV will probably get into the, the uh, me uh, mechanism um, uh, inside and I didn't want uh, any gook or schmutz getting in there um uh kudos to polaris uh my um throttle assembly inside here was dry as a bone and they uh all the uh anti-conductive material that they put on there was still good to go so um basically how this works is you have your thumb your thumb throttle you know rum rum and then when you get thumb fatigue you Go like that, right? Pretty cool. Um, it is, so far, it doesn't seem to like get in the way. Um, I can feel it right here. Um, it is, you can use both at the same time, if you'd like. Um, here's basically what it looks like. It feels very much like a motorcycle um, when, you, uh, when you use it. It it's it's uh, you take some getting used to. So as you can see, they both still work, right? Put her in reverse. So it does take some getting used to. Um, you're not going to be as accurate this way as you are this way if you've been doing it for years. Um, 
But when you're on that last lap and you're having a hard time even keeping, um, you know, the, the throttle at 25%, I think that's really going to help you. Um, I can't wait to use it this weekend in Snowshoe. Um, here's the front of it. Uh, it also weighs nothing. It's a piece of ABS plastic and it goes around the throttle. Probably weighs less than a Coke can, even less than that. So um, the handle is made out of, it looks like, uh, so, like um, a plastic. Um, a, like a silver plastic, unless that's a really, really good billet. Actually, no, it's metal. I'm sorry, it's metal. Um, but yeah, yeah, it works great. Um, it's like, like I said, it takes about uh, 10 minutes to install. Uh, here's the packaging. DXTrigger.com. Here's the instructions. Take the old, take the top off, put the thing on, and you're good to go. Easy peasy. So uh, I hope you guys, I hope this helps some of you out. Um, if uh, if you end up buying one from the guy, chuck my name out there so he knows uh, I helped him out. Um, and if you like it, spread it to your, spread it out to your friends. Uh, it's uh, it's a great invention, and I I think it's phenomenal. I think it has multiple uses. Um, <clears throat> and uh, oh, they, they didn't sponsor me or anything, so this is just my you know dumb Philadelphian review. So I uh, hope this guy hope this is helpful to you guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. And I'll talk to you guys later.